Welcome back. It's now time for Food with Fred, and you're going to love this topic today. We are talking about a North Carolina-based company owned by a Kingsport native. This is Big Spoon Roasters, and they've got their product all lined up here. Fred Saucepan here to tell us how the company makes all different kinds of nut butters. They do. Uh, it's run by a man named Mark Overbay, who knows as much about food as anybody I've ever encountered. He has really researched this, these products. Uh, his wife, Megan, also is co-owner of this company, which you said is uh, located in Hillsboro, and they do all kinds of nut butters, peanut, pecan, almond, you name it. And these are not your typical peanut butters. No. <laughs> uh, there are no preservatives. They are handmade, small batch nut butters. Some really funky flavors Funky in here flavors, too. yeah. There are no, no preservatives at all in these. There are no emulsifiers in these either. And if you look at this one, you can see it separates, which is what you have to do is uh, It's going to take some work to stir that thing Yeah, you've got to stir <laughs> from the very bottom. Mark says go all the way to the bottom with that spoon and stir in that, that oil. Uh, the separation is good. That means it's an all-natural product. So uh, it's amazing to learn where he sources the ingredients mm -hmm. that go into these butters. The peanuts, for example, come from Argentina <laughs> on the high plains. Wow. We found a place where no fertilizer is used, no pesticides, no herbicides. Um, the conditions are perfect. Uh, the um, pecan butter with peanuts in it, this one has honey in it. And that honey, Mark was looking for a non-GMO honey and couldn't find one anywhere in the U.S. or anywhere else in the world except for a tiger preserve in India. So that's where that honey comes from. <laughs> and the crunchy <laughs> peanut butter, now these are more local. These crunchy fried peanuts are out of eastern Virginia, but the sea salt and the chocolate one comes from Oregon. Uh, the amount of research he has put into this is amazing. And Mr. Overbay definitely not taking the easy route sourcing his ingredients. Right. He uh, volunteered with the Peace Corps in Zimbabwe in the 90s and saw people grinding peanuts into pastes and using those in stews and that's where he got the idea to form the company which he did in 2011. Wow. Well, tell, tell me about some of the, I guess like what's your favorite? We got seven lined up here. What's your favorite out of this bunch and kind of describe the flavor for folks back at home. Well the emptiest jar is this crunchy <laughs> peanut if that tells you anything. I also like uh, the chai spice because I'm a big fan of cardamom, the one we've got the spoon in right here. You can probably smell the cardamom, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he's introducing new flavors all the time. There's one I don't have that's bananas foster flavored that I need to order. Uh, you see these bars on the end. His wife, who was a triathlete, developed uh, these nut butter bars too. So yeah, it looks you know, quite, tasty. quite clever people. Yeah. Well, so Fred, uh, where can people find these products? Well, BigSpoonRoasters.com, uh, of course, but just in the last few weeks, they've gotten into the local Ingalls stores. And by the way, the term Big Spoon comes from Mark's father, Gary, in Kingsport, who would eat peanut butter out of the jar with a big spoon, much bigger than this puny <laughs> one right here. He would use a casserole spoon. Wow. That's a lot of peanut butter right there, and, you know, this is definitely a, a, a cool business here with, you know, Classic peanut butter, but with some worldly influence, so they, definitely cool. Right. They treat their employees well, fair wage company. Uh, they just do everything right to make sure that the product they put out to the consumer is is as healthy as it can be and as good as it can be. All right, Fred Saussman, thank you very much. That's our Food with Fred, Fra Food with Fred for this month. We'll be right back.